This report includes graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Yesterday evening, I signed five termination letters, and the five officers involved in this troubling, shameful incident have all been terminated. It's really sad for me as a chief that we've terminated over 50 years of combined police experience over 11 seconds. And that really shows that our officers have to be professional at all times. We send them out to do a tough job, but it's important for them and for us that they behave with ethical standards and do the best they can. And in this incident, that was not our best work. Bottom line, we can't hide it. We won't defend it. Um, we can do much better than that. So even though these five officers have been terminated, the investigation is continuing. Uh, I've charged our internal affairs unit to track down every spider way up, track down every person who might have seen this video, even go out and contact retired supervisors and officers who are no longer employed with the Birmingham Police Department. We want a full accounting of what happened so that we can continue to improve this police department. I'm totally convinced that this department is a better department today than it was a year and a half ago. But obviously, we still have more work to do. As mayor of the city, I'm 100 percent behind supporting our police department. Over 58 percent of our budget goes to, to law enforcement. The culture of the past was that police brutality was acceptable. In Birmingham, Alabama, in the present day, it is not acceptable. While I support the police officers using uh, the amount of force necessary to execute an arrest, there's a fine line that they cannot cross. Once they cross that line, then the chief and his staff has to take appropriate actions. I was asked to show you the last 45 seconds of this DVD, but I'm over, you're going to have to watch it all. I had to endure it. He had to endure it. Because what you're going to see is a man who was doing whatever, breaking the law, and led the Birmingham Police Department and several other departments on, on probably a 45, 50-mile run throughout the city. The police officers showed exceptional restraint. If I had been a police officer, there's no way in the world I would, I would have allowed him to run that far, endangering that many people's lives. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. And exemplary police work was done up until the last 11 seconds. And it's that 11 seconds that we will not tolerate in this city.